Hey, hello, my friends. Hope everybody is well today. I am Paul Apolloni. I'm going to show you what I sold on eBay and talk about some other things about online selling and eBay in general. Again, hope everybody's well. And please, before I forget, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Appreciate every single one of you guys. Thanks for letting me hit that magical 1,000 mark about a month or two ago. I really appreciate it. Um, if it wasn't for you guys, uh, I, I wouldn't have done it. Thank you so much. All right, again, I'm Paul, Paul Apollonia. Bleh, I've got my tongue tied today. Been selling for, gosh, 20 plus years. Took it seriously probably about 19, 18 years ago. Um, started with some consignment from a friend of mine that was trying to help me out to make some extra money. And I got kind of addicted to a consignment. I also do a lot of parting out of uh, items, dishwashers, et cetera. Sell a lot of used items. Sell a lot of uh, items as parts not working. That's something you shouldn't really mess with at the beginning. Just get familiar with the platform, selling and everything else, and then move into that. Um, I had to be real descriptive doing that. And I also do some training, and I run the Raleigh eBay meetup, eBay Ecom meetup group. We meet second Thursday of the month at 3 p.m. It's a Zoom format. And I also have a dishwasher, uh, parting out of dishwasher course on Teachable. All those links are down below. Um, check them out. And I love eBay, but I also list on some other platforms like Macari and such using a program called List Perfectly. Basically, you put everything into List Perfectly and you propel them out to different platforms. So um, that works for me. Check all those links down below. Some are affiliate links. I am not making a ton of money on affiliate links. Trust me. Just about buy a coffee, a cup of coffee with what I make on affiliate links. Um, so here we go. Let's go over some items. I'm going to show you what I sold. Um, I sell anything and everything, and my um, minimums are uh, <laughs> pretty minimum. <laughs> people laugh at them, but hey, whatever. Some people don't sell things for less than 20 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever, whatever you want to do. I'm going to tell you where I got the item and whatever and how I got it and tips and tricks. This is an item I talked about before. This is from the lot of appliance parts I bought. Tell everybody and anybody what you are doing. You'll be surprised what gems you will find or what gems will be given to you. This is from a lot that I bought from an appliance repair guy that his father is part of my meetup. And he went, oh, you sell appliance parts? My son's an appliance repair guy. and He has all these parts in his garage he doesn't know what to do with. We worked on the price, then I sat on it for a while, then I was like, I don't know if I'm going to do this or not, it's, off, it's a lot of money, I'm a cheap person, I thought about it more, he finally got back to me, he goes, what are you going to do with this, you're going to take this stuff or what, and I went, okay, let me go look at it, and the minute I looked at the stuff, I was like, yeah, I can make tons of money, I've made probably four or five, maybe even six times more than what I paid for for the lot, whole van full of stuff, uh, most of it was new, uh, old stock, which means the stuff that he's ordered and whatever didn't fit or whatever, he didn't return it, whatever. Manufacturer paid him for it, so he just kept it, which happens a lot. Um, and let me real, go quickly. I do uh, keyword specifics for my uh, title. I don't really worry about grammar. I'm, I'm worried about what are people looking for when they're searching on eBay and searching on Google. Because don't forget, they upload all their listings to Google Shopping every day. So you get two avenues for searching on eBay. Um, I always use condition description when I'm not selling something new. So it, um, I want to put something up there to catch your eye. Like I want to make sure they want to know. I want to make sure they know it's an open box. Sometimes I have the box. Sometimes I don't have the box. I want to stress no box, new, never used. These are this. <laughs> it took me a while to forget what this part was. I looked at my refrigerator. These are those flaps when you have a side-by-side -side refrigerator, the newer ones, the stainless steel ones. These are the flaps on the inside of the refrigerator that opens up and closes as you shut the door. Close up. So <laughs> that's what that is. I'm like, what the heck is this thing? Learn something new every day. Let me scrunch that down a little bit. My ugly mug's too big there. Uh, all, f all pictures are done on my phone. I try and... Uh, be as descriptive as, I, descriptive as I can with pictures, if that makes sense. Picture of the model number, uh, tag, and everything. The plug, so they know what kind of plug it is, just so they know. I'm kind of pretty crazy with pictures. I thorough, All pictures are done on my Samsung phone with a combination of 
my uh, I find a cell similar, upload pictures to that, and then I go into my Chromebook and finish the listing there. Um, I do use templates, but I need to use them more as I'm I think I'm wasting more time by not using templates. I need to use, I keep more forgetting about them, to be honest with you. I'm usually doing multiple things at the same time. Uh, item specifics are very important. These play a key part when you're doing searches on eBay on the left on your screen, when you're putting all that information in to look for stuff, new, used, whatever, color, all that is pulled off item specifics. Very important you take the time to fill these out. Um, don't fill out things that don't pertain to your item. Um, like here I put no, but that's fine because it's not, it's not, that was an option in that specific. You can create your own specifics. I've done that too in the past. My, my descriptions are very short and sweet. They're basically a copy and paste of what is in my, oops, sorry, I'm scrolling over the place. What's in my condition description right there. Um, oh, I usually put in my disclaimer. See, I don't have it in this one. I said in my last video, I put them in all my parts. Uh, listings. Uh, please make sure it fits your appliance. Not responsible for it not fitting. You know, I put that in there, but I should have put what I just said, but I did not. What else? Shipping. Um, I do flat rate shipping. Sometimes I make money. Sometimes I don't make money. Economy or standard shipping allows me to pick any option eBay offers, post office, FedEx, UPS, and any flavor there are offering. If I were to pick priority, I'd really technically have to ship it out priority mail, which is kind of expensive for large items. Shipping, I am using global shipping for international sales. eBay's global shipping, where you would ship it to one of eBay sites, and it gets 10 out from there. They will open it, make sure it's in there. Once it's all cleared, you will get an email saying your item is here and it's being shipped out. You are out of the picture at that point. Lost, stolen, or broken, you get refunded, and the buyer gets refunded. What did I make on this? Uh, remember, this is this is probably already gravy at this point. I've already made my money back. I made my money back on a load of parts in a week or two. Uh, probably made about $38 on this after fees. And I don't know if I made money or lost money. No, no, I usually make a little bit of money. What do I do if I make money on shipping? I keep it. Sometimes what I have to do if I make a lot of money on shipping, I keep it because <laughs> they see the cost. What if I what do I do if I lose money on shipping? I eat it. <laughs> Way back in the day, I used to message a buyer, well, my shipping, uh, shipping's a little high. And sometimes they would give you extra money. Sometimes they wouldn't. But that was kind of tacky. So I stopped doing that years and years and years and years ago. Here's another item I got on consignment. I do, uh, like I said, a lot of consignment. I like it. Um, this guy, this is long time client, water pick, uh, hunter fan salesman. I'm probably going to end it with this guy at this point because a lot of this stuff is just, it, 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 it's been years I've been selling with for him. And I think it's just, it's a lot of his stuff has just reached the end of its life cycle. I've got old air purifiers that are just, they're old. They're probably 15, 20 years old. I'm just afraid to sell them to be honest with you. I actually took them down a couple of months ago. Um, and the other stuff, I'll just give them something. I'll just give them a little extra for everything else. I've got probably four or five sets of these left and some other little hardware stuff left. Um, it's a 50-50 split when I do consignment, no matter what the price is. It used to be a 50-50 split up to 100, then it went lower, but I found myself spending more time on items that were worth more than $100. So uh, I stopped doing that. So I would make half of that on these. Uh, these do sell. These are what they call long tail sale. So you're going to have them in your eBay store and your eBay listings for a long time. They're going to trickle out slowly. Um, I picked a number that I saw others were selling and they were selling them in lots of 10. These are handrail. These are the things under your, under your banister in your houses that you, that you see. They're pretty much standard. Um, I took the time to unpack one and show it unpacked here. Let's show some of the pictures here. Pretty crazy with pictures. I, I I believe you should really take a lot of pictures. There used to be only a limit of 12. Now, I honestly, I just forgot the amount of pictures you can take on eBay now. I think it's up to 24 or whatever. So I'm pretty crazy with the, with the pictures. There's up close what you get. So um, there you go. So I did pretty good with that. Made, uh, what, $16. It These go out usually in a um, post office padded flat rate envelope goes out for 830 which is um pretty cheap they weigh in at about a pound 
I just I just sold a set of these yesterday, actually. A pound and a half, pound and three quarters. Um, so it, it it's going to cost you about eight bucks, eight ninety to ship these, but with the pad of flat rate envelope through eBay because you get discounts through eBay. Uh, it was eight thirty, so um, I did pretty good. I made a little bit of money on shipping, so that was good. Uh, lawnmower body, okay. So I used to do small engine repair, and I thought, what am I doing this all this repair stuff for? Spending all this time repairing stuff when I'm when I sell parts. So I decided to move that to parting out. I don't do much of this anymore. This is stuff that people give me. I have long time people that are givers, I guess <laughs> you'd call them. They just call me up periodically. Like they're like, you know, I know this one guy, he calls me up like once every year, once every year and a half. Hey, I got this at my house. Do you want it? Hey, I've got this lawnmower at my house. Do you want it? Hey, I've got this refrigerator. Do you want it? Just like, okay, sure. I just ask them to send me the part or send me the part, send me the model number. I make sure I can pull a few parts out. Uh, some people give me a lot of stuff. Sometimes I take stuff just as a goodwill gesture, go through it when I get home and take the rest of the dump or to the thrift store. But uh, this guy gave me this mower. I did really well with this mower. I sold uh, the recoil, which is the thing you pull to start the mower. I sold um, a few of the gas tank and everything. I probably made about, I'd say, it's been so long. Um, I'd probably say I made about 150 bucks on $175 profit off of this lawnmower, off of the parts. This was a large item. Um, I sold the front wheel set. There's a wheel set that goes right here. It's a plastic, black plastic thing with the wheels. I sold that too. Um, took me probably about 45 minutes to park this all out. I originally got this mower and I thought, you know what? It runs kind of. Let me play around with it. Let me see if I can get it to work. What a mistake that was. <laughs> Spent about an hour, probably lying there, probably more than that. I can't remember. I don't want to remember trying to get to run. It would run, then it would want to run right. Sums up the carburetor. The carburetors on these are all plastic, and most of the time they get warped or clogged to the point where the plastic gets deformed in the carburetor, the jets and the holes, and it's just not worth it. So I ended up parting it out, which I should have done from the beginning. Um, some people are hard-headed. <clears throat> so I did really well. How did I ship this out? I had uh, two two large, uh, didn't use the heavy-duty boxes from Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, and I just basically uh, Frankenstein a box. I basically just laid it actually on my dining room table or put the box on the dining room table. I'm sorry, opened the box up, cut it open, laid it out flat, put this on the table, folded it over, tucked it in like I was wrapping a gift, and then went another box and put it the other way and folded it over, tucked it in and shipped it out. And I got there with no problem. The guy was happy. Uh, geez, that shipping is low. Did I, I think I did okay with shipping because it went down to South Carolina, I think. So it wasn't that bad. Or I may have lost a buck or two on shipping. I can't remember, but I made money on the mower anyway. It, 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 it's my fault. Uh, the big thing with these bodies is you got to make sure, hang on, let me just show you. I don't want to take up a lot of your time, but I want to educate you guys too at the same time. You want to make sure that I'm trying to show and it's not showing up. Really showing up. You want to make sure that there's no cracks in these holes. Um, a lot of times people hit things with their mower, uh, fence post, uh, drainage um, pipe, a rock, whatever, and the engine jolts and the engine gets messed up and bends the shaft and it cracks this or splits something here or puts hairline cracks. So make sure there's no cracks there. You should be good to go. Make sure there's no cracks on the wheel bases or anything where the wheel holes are. Next item. Three more items to go. Yay. Um, dishwasher parts, they do sell. These, uh, okay. <laughs> I never had any luck selling these rails. For years and years, I would take them off, and they would sit. I'd list them, and they would sit, and they would sit. Now, the last couple of years, I'm seeing all these other people selling these rails. See, these are the top rail to the dishwasher. When you pull your rack out, that's the, the side things. Those are the rails. They're very easy to take off. These are just four screw. Hang on. Let's see if I can show you the backs. 
There you go. These are the four screws that are on the outside of the dishwasher. You just take those off and they come off. And I have that all in my dishwasher course on my teachable site. Very affordable for what you get. It's about a two-hour course broken up into 20-minute videos. Actually, it's probably more than two hours because there's one video that's probably an hour that shows you how to look up the parts, where to look them up online to get pricing, and what to put in your eBay listing. Let me know if you want that. I'll throw you a good deal on it. I'm going to get people out there making money. But so real easy to take these off. Um, you're not going to make a lot of money on these. Um, I wouldn't even say they're a quick sale. You might sell them, you might not sell them. But if you're taking the rack off, this is something that takes two seconds to remove. I stress to uh, my students that you don't want to get carried away with parting out something. You don't want to spend five hours on parting out a dishwasher. Now, I don't know what your economics are, your income is. Maybe spending five hours on something to make... $200 is a lot of money. That's fine. That's wonderful. More power to you. Um, to me, it's not. But if it is to you, that's great. I'll support you in any way I can. But um, just watch your time. I've even set a stop, uh, set my phone, a stopwatch saying, hey, I'm 20 minutes into this. Where am I at? Because a lot of times, even I will get carried away at times going, I can get that part out right there. I know I can make money on that part. How much time is it going to take me to get that part out? Like I said, didn't do didn't do great. These went out first class. Like I said, don't forget, uh, post office. Uh, if you send take something post office, it's thirteen ounces first class. That same item via eBay with the eBay shipping and eBay discounts. Uh, eBay uh, first class is up to one pound. Uh, that will save you some money. This may have went first class. I can't remember. I think it was the length was too long or whatever. I made money on this. Didn't make a lot. Probably made about ten bucks on this. But again, it took me all of. Three minutes to take everything apart. Um, I look on Craigslist. I have a video out there on how to do Craigslist alerts on certain things. I have alerts set for mowers, dishwashers, vacuum cleaners, anything that I can uh, part out and make money on. And this popped up, this Black & Decker um, electric lawnmower. Okay, I looked at it and I went, hmm, hmm. <laughs> And I looked at the add more and the guy said, I have three chargers. Okay. Whoa. I went, okay, I'll grab them. Probably about a 15 minute ride to get them, 15 minute back ride. But those chargers, if they're working, go for good money. They go for 39 to $49. I don't know why they're, I guess they're not made anymore. I have no idea. And they're used for a lot of things. He had three. One of them did not work. I did test them out. I plugged them in and put a multimeter on the end to see what kind of power I was getting out and looked on the charger, saw the output power. I was getting output power, same amount on two of them. The other one was dead. Now, I could have played with the other one. The other one was the original one for the mower. But I sold those two chargers within two days for $37 a piece. Um probably made about $35 after what, what I made on shipping. I think I showed those uh, before, or they may be in a future video. I for, or I don't know if I just showed them before. I can't remember. Um, what else did I sell over there? I sold the key, the little plastic key to make it go on with the safety thing for $7. First class shipping. I think I made about six bucks on that. Sold something else on it. I can't even remember, but these bags, he gave me two bags. Oh, boy. <laughs> Open book. Um, these Both these bags went out west. I'm not talking about a truck wagon going out west. They went out west, and the cheapest, I either made very, very little on these bags or lost a little bit. I can't remember. It was a while ago. Um, but, again, I got the mower for free. I made the, I made the you know, 80 bucks off of those three other items I sold. I think I sold something else. I can't remember the shoot or something. The, the, there's a, a thing you stick in the shoot when you're doing, uh, when you're not using the bag. I forget what else I sold off of that mower, but I did. Okay. Um, it happens. Um, whatever. Sometimes things will go for a lot of money. How did I ship this? I used two, uh, small, was it Home Depot boxes or Lowe's boxes, telescope them together, Slipped this in there, sealed it up, made sure everything was tight. I have a video on how to telescope the boxes and everything with a vacuum cleaner I sold. Um, so it happens. I Either I made very little bit or I lost a little bit of money. Just being honest, 
what is this one? Oh, yes, this is uh, Chromebook Parts. I'm a huge Chromebook fan. Um, I come across Chromebook Parts all the time. Old Chromebooks people give me, and I part them out. Not a big dollar sale. I think this actually went first class. Um, flip pretty quick. It's an old HP on the HP uh, Education Edition, which means they're using for schools. Probably made about, whew, not much, maybe 12 bucks on this thing. But like I said, it's sold quick. I have a few more I have to list. I just keep on forgetting to list them. Yes, even I have what they call death piles, which now we call money piles. Because you've got money sitting there in your inventory you're not using. I took pictures of all the part numbers and tags and everything else. The back. Um, I know it works because it came out of a working Chromebook that uh, someone gave me. Well, my friends, that is about it. I want to thank you so much for watching and hanging in there with me. I appreciate it. And you guys have a wonderful day. It's pouring out there today in Raleigh. So uh, stay dry if you're in the area. Bye-bye.